What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new AEW Unrivaled action figure review. And it is on the brand new ringside exclusive Blood and Guts Dog Color Match 2-Pack MJF and CM Punk figures. Now, this is a highly anticipated 2-Pack, and I remember, I don't know if I did it specifically, but I could have swore. I even tweeted out, yep, that's confirmed as a 2-Pack or a Blood and Guts Pack. That is absolutely going to be a Blood and Guts Pack as soon as this matchup took place. And now it is finally in our hands. It honestly feels like this matchup happened yesterday, but it's been a Minute. You know, it's been a minute, but it all looks good here. You have MJF, you have CM Punk here. When we first revealed these, or we first got shown these, I was excited for the pack, but there's some things that I'm not excited for about the pack, which we'll, of course, dive into here, but AEW always knocks out the packaging. Of course, the Blood and Guts line has a nice history with the ringside collectibles. You have the blood splatter all over the packaging, which is always appreciated. AEW logo here, Blood and Guts, Dog Collar Match, MJF, CM Punk, 13 pieces, classic ringside exclusive logo there. On the top, you do get Blood and Guts, Dog Collar Match with a window there. On this side, you do get MJF and CM Punk on the side, as well as number 114 with a little... Oh my god, dude. When I knock down the background, I have fits. This side also includes an AEW logo. And then on the back here, you do get the AEW logo, ringside exclusive. You got AEW Revolution, and then you do have CM Punk signature with MJF. And then there is a shot from the Blood and Guts matchup, or the Dog Color match, I should say. Not a Blood and Guts match, but there were plenty of Blood and Guts going around. MJF, Blood and Guts, Dog Color match, CM Punk. And then on this side, you get the accessories. You got the Screaming Colt Cabana head skull. And then you have the hand tape and the bloody mess CM Punk and then the other hand tape. Then AEW Blood and Guts down there. Nonetheless, man, let's crack both of these guys out of the packaging, find out what they're all about, and see if this dog collar match Blood and Guts pack is worth the pickup. So let's crack these guys out of the packaging. So here is the Dog Collar Match Blood and Guts MJF and CM Punk figures out of their packaging spending around, man. I like some stuff going on with these figures. However, I do have my gripes. I always have my gripes, or at least everybody likes to tell me I have my gripes. You're so negative, bro. Well, forgive me for calling things like I see it. But of course, guys, we are going to dive into their accessories, and then we're going to dive into the figures themselves. But this is a two-pack. I'm going to cover their accessories together and break all that down, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at the MJF figure, and then we'll take a closer look at the CM Punk figure and see where this dog collar match set stands. All right, so getting into the accessories you get with this two-pack, I think you get a solid amount, you know, for the $58 price point, you know, you're looking at probably 65, 66 bucks after shipping. I think you get a decent amount of stuff here. I think one extra thing would have been better, and I can't really tell you what that is, whether it be a head sculpt, a chair, an AEW microphone, maybe. I think what you get here is, is feasible, and I like it, you know, I think it gets the job done, but the main accessory is going to be the dog collar. This is literally the dog collar match. This thing's very long, man. You cannot see it off camera, but it is legitimately like three or four inches past the box of the AEW. Like this box right here. I don't even know. I don't think I can even get it on camera. That's how long it is. Like, look at this thing, man. It's very long. So, you know, I don't think it would be too, too annoying. You'd have free room for these guys to walk around if you were to do a match. It does have heft to it. It is a real chain. Like, it, it does have that. It's not as thick. It's pretty thin. But I think it gets the job done. I like this. You know, I, I do appreciate this. And they do have like these brown collars on here and one thing that I like is that you can't unclasp them all you have to do is pop the head off see look pop the head off slide it on pop the head on and it's on there you know what I mean it's not like Mattel's where it will pop off so you don't have to worry about it coming unclasped and things like that but you do get some stitching detail right here on the dog collars but these look good man I like this I like the chain they're all nice you know it reminds me of like just one of those chains you'd wear you know it's just like a solid silver chain so that's good stuff now outside of that you do get interchangeable head sculpts now I'm gonna be real with you this screaming MJF head sculpt looks like Colt Cabana that's just what I get you know you get like the natted hair and the blood in there which looks cool but it doesn't look like MJF. At least to me it doesn't. I'm I, I'm just not seeing it. I think this head sculpt has way more likeness. It does look like a pissed off MJF. I honestly would like to remove the blood off this and then give us like a, you know, a standard pissed off MJF head sculpt because I think that works. I like this head sculpt. I think it has more likeness than the other, but you do get the blood on there. The haircut's nice. It's not like as, you know, like uh, kind of messy or natty hair or natted hair or whatever you want to say. So there's the MJF head sculpts. And then you have the CM Punk ones. Now I'm not a big fan of this one. You guys will see that they printed the eye over the little bang hair that's coming through there so that's kind of weird may hit that with like some black or brown paint just to fix that because i think that would make it look better but it does have like the again yeah, 
Jesus. Like, look at my eyes, man. Like, where are we going? Looks like they're falling off. I don't like that. Now he looks derpy as hell. It didn't look that bad until it brought this one in. Now he's like, it's like his face is melting. Christ. Well, I do like the sculpt and everything going on here. He does look rugged and stuff like that, but God, he looks rough, man. But at least this one is better, and this will be the one that I put him on display with. You have the bloody head sculpt with the hair all messy and natted up again. I like this one. I like this one a lot more. I like all the blood you got going in there. It looks like his teeth are misprinted, man. What the hell is that? Look at how crooked his damn teeth are. Jesus. Nonetheless, I do like this head sculpt, and I think this looks good. Why is he bald right there? Is that how his hair looks? Look how weird that looks. Uh. And then for CM Punk's interchangeable hands, you do get the bloody taped up X hands with the drug free, and these are his mic holding hands. You get the fisted hands, which are pretty cool. We got the tape on there and the blood, which is good. And then I do believe these are brand new. You have the go to sleep hands. So he's got, you know, he can, uh, the thing that sucks is he's not going to be able to do the go to sleep pose without butterfly joints. So, you know, they, these are cool though. I do like this. So you can do the go to sleep and then uh, knock somebody's ass, put them to sleep. And then for MJF, you get the same, pretty much the same thing. Just no tattoos or no X's. It is hand tape with blood on it. And then you get the graspy hands or the mic holding style hands. Not mic holding. They're more of like grabby or, you know, like grasping or wrestling hands. And then you have these hands, which could be used for a lot of stuff. You can do hands on the hips. You could do like reaching out about the tap. You could do, I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do it like entrance hands or like bring it on. There's a lot of usages for these hands, which I appreciate, but the blood patterns seem to be consistent as well. So that's a good thing. All right, man. So getting into the MJF head sculpt and figure. I like this one. Of course, this one's my favorite one compared to the other one there, but you know, same MJF torso. You got the blood going down the forehead and down the body and stuff like that. You know, these figures aren't the most realistic when it comes to the blood. Like, you know, it's kind of like too saturated. It's it's very hard to simulate blood, especially with like paint apps and stuff like that. Like really, really tough, man. Especially at a mass produced figure. I mean, you're, you're looking at kind of like a challenge level impossible, but lion tattoo on there. He does have his wrist tape. He's got the black elbow pad. The skin pegs right here bother me. That sucks eggs. Metallic green looks good. He's got even blood down there on the trunks. You got the lion logos. They look like they're closer together than they, you know, than they usually are on his gears. Maybe I'm tripping. On the back, you got MJF. I really like the metallic color on these trunks. It looks really, really good. And then you have the thighs there with the metallic green knee pads. The thigh wraps and like the knee sleeves here are metallic green, which look good. And then you have the lion logo here on the MJF boots, which look good and white. And uh, I like the white boots better than like the black boots for MJF. I just think it kind of gives him that extra touch or something. I don't really know how to describe it. But as far as articulation, I feel like he may be a little bit loose in the waist a little bit is what I'm getting here. He can look down really well because of the ball hinge. I wish Mattel would invest in some damn ball hinges as his head just flies off out of nowhere. Arms buttery smooth. Like, see, why is this figure so buttery and nice and smooth? And then the CM Punk sounds like it's going to snap in half at the drop of a hat seize. I mean, what are we doing here, man? But I like this MJF. I really like this gear. You know, it's going to be really cool when we bring them all up next to each other here in about, I don't know, like not even a second or so. So for your AEW MJF action figure comparisons here, I am missing the Unmatched Series 2 Chase and the Unrivaled Series 2 Chase, which I have been on card, but not loose to compare out of the pack in here. But we have a lot of colorful attires, but we also have a lot of black attires. I'd much rather have, I guess we only technically have two black attires. So what the hell are you saying, Brad? We got blue, we got white, we got metallic green, voltish green, orange. So you shut the hell up before you say some dumb shit. But I like all these up next to each other. I'd really like to get another MJF like this and then swap out the legs and stuff. Or maybe just acetone the legs and then uh, put a different torso on there just to have this, these trunks and everything like that without any blood on there. I'll look into that. We'll see what comes of it. And I'd also like to get some white boots for the all white here. So I like MJF. I think he's fantastic. I I'm a big fan of his work. I think he's really good. He's one of the best in the business. So, but that does it for your MJF action figure comparison. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got to go through the lineup. So go through the lineup. You have the Unrivaled Series 2, the Unrivaled Series 6, the Walmart Exclusive, the new Blood and Guts, Shop AEW Exclusive, the Unmatched Series 4, and the Unmatched Series 2. And then I'm pretty sure we have more coming, or maybe we don't have more coming. We have the Devil figure coming, and then I think we have another one that I think is possibly going to be in suit, so that should be badass. But that does it for your MJF figure comparisons. All right, guys, so getting into CM Punk, I like the nothing. I'm just kidding. I just am not a fan of this head sculpt. It looks like his head's melting away, man. I just got a bad misprint, it looks like. Might have to have BW, like, repainted or something like that, but, I mean, like, the head proportion, the way it sits on the head is pretty good, or the way the head sits on the neck looks pretty good. You got all this blood going on, all the tattoo. I feel like this is new tattoo deco. Like, it looks different to me. It looks more full. It looks a lot cleaner, I'd say. I don't know how they're getting away with this damn Cobra tattoo and this Pepsi tattoo. I mean, my god, it looks just like the logos, man. So, I don't know. Like, it, 
Like, that's the logo, alright? On the back there, it looks like he's been shot a couple times. You got, like, all this different stuff going on. I don't know. I, I guess I can get to that in just a moment. Right now, we're looking at the aesthetic of the figure. But you do have the straight edge. Going down to the shorts, the wrist tape. This man's bloodied up, man. He's got a ton of blood going on. I really like the shorts look for CM Punk, honestly. Like, I think this is badass. It's got the triple X down there. You got the straight edges on there. You got the punk down the side. You got the bloody shorts. I don't like this color. It's not accurate. I, I don't know why it's not white. You know, I get that it was dirty at the end of the match, but it was still white. Even though it had blood all over it, it was still white. So I don't know. It, like, you know, I, I don't know. Who am I, you know? More blood on the back there, and then going down into the knee pads. I like that he has loose knee pads in here, and then he also has kick pads, and they're solid black, and they look good. I kind of low-key, like, want to use this, like, parts for this. I low-key want to use parts for this and make a KO or something, like AEW and Rival KO or something. But, uh, as far as articulation is concerned, you can, like, he can bend over pretty good before popping off at the waist. You know, he can look all the way up pretty much. He can look down really well. One thing about CM Punk figures, they are tight, man. I don't like the ratchety joint. Points. I'm hoping that uh, when we get a CM Punk in the end, right, like this arm over here is kind of stuck, man. I need to heat that up. I would recommend heating this up right here because you don't want that to get loose on you. But he's got the bicep swivel. He's got double jointed arms and stuff like that. The the joints on unmatched figures most of the time are just like this, man. They're like ratchety and rickety. And I don't like it, but feet can go out that far. He does have upper thigh cut. He's on ball joints. You got kick pad rotation. A little bit of ankle rocker there. And they go up and down, of course. I don't know. Like, he poses around pretty well. I'd say you could probably get him in most poses that you want to see. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some CM Punk figure comparisons right quick. Or the ones we've seen from Jazzwares and AEW so far. So for your CM Punk figure comparisons, you do have the Unmatched Series 4 on the far left. I switched out the legs. Of course, we talked about at the Stu Grayson legs because I thought the tights legs were too skinny. I need to get another one of those. I haven't been on card. If I, I might buy another one one day just to have the long tights that he wore. I'm sure we're going to get the white gear maybe in the Supreme and then we'll probably, we'll probably get that shorts look, you know, like the biker shorts look, I'm sure one time. But you also have the Walmart exclusive Unrivaled, the Blood and Guts match, the ring set exclusive, return punk figure in the black pants, which I really like. And then you have the iconic Elite 16 punk. And I like punk figures, you know, I'm never been the biggest fan of CM Punk, but I can appreciate his work, and I can appreciate, you know, what he represents for the business and all those different things, and it's really cool to collect his figures. I was a massive Punk fan when he first came into WWE, like when he had the long hair and, like, his ECW run. I don't know. That was like, and of course I've liked him, but I don't know why. I just, I loved him with his long hair, and then over time I progressively just kind of didn't like him as much. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about with the tattoo deco, though. Doesn't this look more full, or is it just because he has bloodied up arms? or something. I don't know, but that is your CM Punk action figure comparisons. But I think that is pretty much going to wrap up our ringside exclusive Blood and Guts Dog Collar Match MJF and CM Punk 2-pack, man. Again, if you guys want to grab this set, do so over at Ringside Collectibles using code MDTOYS. It is ringside exclusive, of course. But at the end of the day, my overall thoughts on this set are pretty solid. You know, I don't think it's a perfect set by any means, but I think it's a really cool, iconic moment and match that does deserve to be memorized and sort of solidified in figure form. I think that's a amazing. And I like some things about this two-pack. Now, do I think it's just the best thing of all time? Absolutely not. I love the dog collar. I think it works really, really well. I like that you don't have to clasp it, and it's just one solid piece, and all you have to do is pop the head off and slide them on. I think that's really unique compared to a Mattel one where you have to actually, like, buckle or button the dog collar. I'm not a big fan of the screaming MJF head sculpt. I think it looks like Colt Cabana. I love the bloodied up head sculpt from CM Punk, the yelling one, and I think they did a really good job of making his hair look natty and, like, all like mashed up and kind of sticky looking. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say, but the things that lose me are some of the looseness that's going on with the arms, the torsos, and then I don't like that they went with like this weird grayish cream color for the shorts for CM Punk. It should have been white, man. At the end of the match, his shorts were still white. They just had blood on them. So like any redness into some white shorts would have been much better. And I do think we're getting this gear in his Supreme Edition and hopefully they'll fix the color because this like gray color doesn't work, man. It's not like it looks like he had had white shorts back in like 2011 and now like he's been wearing them over and over and over again and then they got really color you know they got discolored because he's wearing them all the damn time but i do like to set. i think you have some unique stuff going on here i enjoy the pack and i always enjoy these really cool packs from jazz wears and aew i don't think it's as good as the barbed wire deathmatch pack but i still enjoy it and i like some of the things going on with it man but if you guys want this pack go over to ringside collectibles use code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent but that is gonna wrap this review up thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy this 
set. I'd love to know what you think of this set down in the comment section below. Leave me your thoughts down there. Did you grab this? Did you not grab this? But I am getting out of here, man. Huge shout out to our patron army over there on the MDT Patreon. Link in the description below if you guys are interested in that. Always appreciate you guys so much. But that is going to wrap this video up, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. We'll never back down. We will not relent.